This video will demonstrate how to transfer multiple products at one time over to QuickBooks to create new QuickBooks items. First thing I'll do is go to Start, Catalog, and Manage Products. And now I'm going to run a quick filter here to look for the products I'm looking for. Easiest way is do a quick search. It found the manufacturer I'm looking for. Go ahead and apply that filter. And I'm going to go ahead and select all of these parts. Now go over to QuickBooks uh, tab here. And you have different filters here where you can see all of the products, uh, the products that are already in QuickBooks and products not in QuickBooks. I happen to know that none of these exist right now over in QuickBooks. So what you can do, uh, if you want to map individual ones to, uh, or individual products to existing QuickBooks items, you would highlight just one of these and hit the map function. But in this example, we're going to uh, create um, all of these at one time. Now you may want to check out your QuickBooks settings here. Here, um, you're mapped to your QuickBooks file, but uh, for this purpose, these are the fields you're going to want to look at. The item format, uh, the default here being uh, 30 characters of the manufacturer name followed by 30 characters of the model number. You could add a third field here if you'd like to have three levels over in your QuickBooks item number. And the fields you can choose from here are manufacturer, model, category, or part number. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and let these transfer over as just uh, manufacturer and model. So we'll just save our settings and We'll click the create button here and that's going to open up a form um, just confirming that these are the item numbers that are going to be created over in QuickBooks based off of that format that I just showed you. Uh, the manufacturer name, uh, there's a colon here to indicate a sub of um, for the model number and I'll go ahead and click next and now you're going to be prompted um, to pick whether it's an inventory, a non-inventory or a service item that you're transferring and again that pulls from your settings back here. Uh, I'm actually going to make these non-inventory and check this box here so that the uh, cost of the product will transfer. This is a QuickBooks setting and down here you'll pick your account. So this is looking at your chart of accounts over in QuickBooks. So we'll just choose these and if you want to pick a vendor you certainly can and we'll do that and you can mark these as taxable or non-taxable and I'm going to let them go over as tax and I'm going to choose create. And this is now creating these items directly over in QuickBooks. And to see those, we can uh, pull up QuickBooks here. Uh, go to the Home tab and go to Items and Services. And down here, you can see that SpeakerCraft was created as well as all of those model numbers. They've been transferred over and they are items in QuickBooks. And now you can transfer an estimate from our software over to QuickBooks using these items.